Java device tech. In this section, we're going to look at how we can create this full state e-commerce application using Flutter. And for our backend, we're going to be using Python. So in this instance, we're going to be using Django in Django REST framework to, to do most of our backend heavy lifting. Okay. So this is our, our dashboard our dashboard for our backend. So everything is simplified if we have a, a dashboard, adding products, adding brands, adding categories, managing addresses, managing users, managing orders, managing notifications, ratings, and wish list. So it's going to be hell of a, of a project. It's going to be a good one as well. So those with a little bit of knowledge in Django Python, this is good for you. And those ones without, then that's okay either way because we are going to start everything from bare bones up until we have a full stake application. And on our flash side, we're going to be using provider is our state management. We're going to be using provider, that's Flutter and provider. And on the back end, we're going to use Python Django and Django REST framework. Okay, so this is our application. Everything is functional. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give you a tour of the application before we start working on it. As we work on the application, probably we're going to be revisiting probably when we are designing and when we are putting functionality just to show how the functionality is going to work and how we are going to do it. So it's, it's, it's like we were just going to have like a real life example before we do something and then we do it. Then at the end of the of the lesson or lecture, we do have a proof of concept. Okay, so let's jump right ahead and see what we get. So on our front end, we do have this beautiful home screen. In our home screen, we do have our location and we have our notification count. So this notification count is the count of notifications that we are receiving from, from our backend, right? So if we click on it, this is the list of orders that I've placed when I was running a test, okay? So taking a look at it, we do have nine notifications. So I just want to get this out of the way before I start working on, before I start explaining on other features, okay? So if we click on a notification, this is what we get. This is the order that belongs to the notification that we clicked. And if we go back and go back to our home page, then that notification is no longer there and our account has been decremented to to eight. So this happens each and every time that we open a, a notification with decrementing count. So this list is for the notifications which are unread. Okay, or read notifications are not going to be listed under notifications. Okay. So next we do have our address. So our address is the shipping address that we do have here. So this is our default address, right? So if we take a look, this is the same address that we do have over here. So if we go back to our shipping address and we set this address as default, and then we go back, then our address is here automatically changes okay so that's it for the address we are going to explore a little bit more when we get to the address part okay so for search if you press on search we're taken to a different page where we are going to search for something so we're going to search for converse if we hit search then the last item that we searched is placed here as history and this is the item that we we looked for Converse, okay? So if we come here and search for Adidas, we do have an Adidas Ultra Boost and our history here is Adidas. So that's how our search function works. If we click on the product, then we are taken to the product. Okay, so down at the bottom, we do have a slider. So here, the slider, you can change the, change the images, but for now, this is the image that I have. You need to do a little bit of designing if you are to get into it that much. And for categories here, we do have categories, but our categories are dynamic. Though we're using Python, we're going to be saving our data as dynamic, especially in our, in, on our homepage, because we, we don't want our data to be static, okay? Like for instance, we have 50 categories and in our homepage, we are only showing five categories 
and those five categories are static. So we need to make them dynamic each and every time that we refresh state, we are going to get a new set of categories. For now, I do have five categories, but just to, as a proof of concept, each and every the state changes or that we reload the page, then these categories are going to be reshuffled here. Our first one is jacket, is a jack, jackets. So if we go back now, the data is reshuffled. So we are using the same approach when it comes to our, our products as well. So here we have all products. That's a list of 20 random products that we're going to have on our screen. And for popular is going to be the same, but popular is going to be products which are rated, which has a high rating. That's four to five. And this is unisex. That's clothes that are clothes or items that are for both genders or women and males and we also have mail but in our mail section we don't have anything as yet so this is what our empty page is going to look like so if we go to women we have one product if we go to kids we only got one product so that's how our page is going to look like okay so if we go to popular these products they do have a high rating so these are the products that are being shown here if we go back to all then our first product is Adidas Ultra Boost, right? So let's go to popular and go back. So our data is changing. Now our first product is Louis V trainers. So our data is changing. So this whole st this whole stuff is we're going to take care of it in our back end, and then we can just save the data dynamically to our front end. So this is all for our home page. Next, let's go ahead and introduce our wish list. So this is our empty wish list. We don't have anything in our wish list. So let's take, for example, we want to add these Louis Vuitton trainers to our wish list. So if you press here, this product is in our wish list already. So we come here, this is all the product that we have. And if we come to our dashboard wish list, this is the same product, right? So here we can remove the product by just clicking favorites again. So to be removed from our wish list, and if we refresh our dashboard over here, the product is gone. We can do it here. So Converse, we added Converse. Let's refresh our dashboard. After refreshing our dashboard, we can remove, right? So this is the Converse that we added. Since we removed from this page, from our wish list, it's gone in our dashboard as well. So that's how it's going to work. And we can as well add this product to our wish list from the product page okay so now we added the product from our product page is here and if we remove it if we remove it and refresh it's gone as well okay so that's all when it comes to our wish list now we need to move on to to our cart okay so in our cart we just need to go ahead and select the product that we want let's take for example we need this adidas boost size 10 and we're going to pick the gray color right so we're just going to add this product to cart after adding the product to cart our count will increment initially the count was three now the count is four if we come to the cart let's see we do have carts over here so this is the product that we just added the ultra boost which is the one that is on top here okay so let's press back over here this is the product so we need to delete the product if we need to delete the product we can just select the product and delete the product or just go ahead and press delete if we delete the product would be gone if we refresh our dashboard that product is gone from our dashboard as well so here from our cart that's where we are eligible to check out okay so let's check for example we want to check out these four chuck tailors not four chuck tailors but we need to select two items this is the first item if we select an item then we are shown this checkout total from this checkout total if we click on it we are eligible to go to the next page so that we can complete our checkout so here we can able to check out multiple products for example i need to check out these two last products and this is our total and if we click on checkout these are our products the ones that we, we want to buy is it and right on top we do have our shipping address so we are eligible to change our shipping address right so if we press on change, then we'll see this uh, bottom sheet showing up. 
and from this bottom sheet we have to select the address that we need to ship the products to in this instance i need to change from brooklyn to to union square okay so let's say i pick union square if i pick union square uh, bottom navigation bar is going to to go down and then it's going to close and then that's the address that we're using okay so from here we can continue to to payment okay so this is our stripe checkout page if we click on details these are the details of the products that we push to 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 check out right so we have this boost and we have the louis v trainers and down at the bottom we do have this delivery fee this delivery fee is automatically assigned from the back end so from the payment server so our price will go up from from 78 to 88 so over here what we just we need to do we need to enter the information that's a at a.com then here we need to put the test card and let's go ahead and put the expiration cvc enter a name and we enter the the code and then we can process our order after order has been placed successfully we are going to be redirected to success page like this one so we are on the success page and our notifications has been sent when we started ordering our count was seven so now our count should be eight so let's go to home if we go to home our count is eight so if we click here 24 seconds ago we do have a notification that came in and if we go to orders right this is the order that we just placed we have the ultra boost and we have the we have this louis v trainer so here from here you can review the item that you you just ordered right click review okay so if you're reviewing this ultra boost we give it a five let's give it a rating before we give it a rating let's check the it got a rating of four okay so here our rating should be 4.5 if we give it a rating of five let's write a review anything would do and submit the review so after submitting the review then we won't be able to review the same product again since we've reviewed the product and if we go to rating ultra boost we do have a rating so probably this is the first rating of the ultra boost so probably our rating is going to be five if i'm not mistaken so if we go back and we go back to our products ultra boost our rating is five right so that's okay we go back uh the next thing that we do have we have a louis v trainer right louis v trainer here our rating is five so let's say we are going to rate this shoe that we just bought and we're going to give it a rating of four so our rating is going to be 4.5 if i'm not mistaken since we have two ratings that would be this one and the next one that we're going to 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 submit okay so our product is rated if we refresh so we have another one for louis v trainer here and if we go back to our home page for louis v tn then here our rating is 4.5 right so that's all when it comes to our orders and ratings all right so if orders are reviewed then you won't be able to review them again okay but if they're not you can able to review the order okay so when it comes to our shipping address we did illustrate a little bit and we are able to delete the address so let's take for example this address it can be deleted but for now i cannot do that so let's just go ahead and add another address give it a, a phone number just give a random address over here and we're going to assign it and we're going to submit we're not going to make it a default address okay so this is the address that we just added so to delete we can just press delete and then our addresses gets refreshed okay so and that's all for now so most of the stuff we're going to be just taking a look at it when we when we reckon on it but for the introduction part this is probably the important stuff that we're going to take a look at right so here we do have 
like sneakers in categories this is the only category that got products so products are showing here so when it comes to pens we don't have anything so nothing is showing so this is the basic introduction next we're just going to go ahead start a new project and the approach that we're going to take we're going to start by designing our front end and then probably uh, take care of the state that we need to state management that we need to take care of before we jump into that's the basic state management which doesn't require rest apis and then we're going to work on our rest api the third section we're going to integrate the rest api to our front end and then we can see like whether we can make any other adjustments that needs to be made with everything all parts in place okay so this is all but for now let's see I'll come to this this order this order had two products right so if it has two products these are the products they're going to be shown in at least and they're both reviewed so we cannot review them again okay so this is it let's jump in and start our new project and see how best we can work on it and how fast we can work on it okay